Hey everyone, big changes are coming to V4 MMORPG and that changes are coming with new update which will be released today. New skill changes for all classes, new regions and many more changes for in-game systems are coming with that new update. So stay with me for the next few minutes to hear all about it. Before we start, let me just say subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit that bell icon to see more V4 and MMORPG gaming videos in the future. I am following all informations from beautiful world of MMORPG gaming and when I see something interesting is happening or if I see some useful information, you will see that here on my YouTube channel. So make sure to subscribe. Ok, let's check together new update of V4. I am here on official V4 Nexon website and in front of me I have patch notes. So let's check patch notes. First thing which you can see here, if you play already V4 MMORPG, you will notice we are getting new regions. Solitary forest is added to the game. Recommended CP 12,000 to 30,000. So basically here you can see solitary forest. This is we can say starting zone because this is really low CP. Then we have arrogant planes added. And this region as you can see here is not for new players because as you can see CP recommended here is really really high. Let's go further and check what else we are getting with this new update. Here you can see some details regarding region bosses. But let's go further to see we have a new dungeon. Dungeon Land of Evenfall Warzone is added. A new hunting area for low CP players across all servers. How to enter? Main menu, Land of Evenfall, spend currency to enter immediately. Or you can go to Dimensional Boundary, Upside Down Dream, Land of Evenfall Gate and enter without spending any currency. So as you can see, we are also getting a new dungeon, Land of Evenfall. That sounds good, but probably the biggest change is this one from the start. We are getting new regions, Solitary Forest and Arrogant Plains. One region for starting players and second region, obviously, for players who are playing this game longer. Because, yeah, you will need lots of CP to go even there. Let's go further to check. There are many changes coming to V4 MMORPG with this patch note. I must say this will change game a lot, really a lot. As you will see during uh, the time we are checking this new update. Uh, how to acquire old region monster markings. Okay, so this is important information because a monster markings you need to increase your CP. So. Madding Forest, Cursed Plains and Anguished Forest Monster Markings can be acquired from the Solitary Forest. So basically that new region Solitary Forest will drop that old region Monster Markings. That's pretty clear. Highlands of Illusion Renewal. Okay, let's see this. The recommended CP for Illusionary Floor and Illusionary Fortress has been changed to... Wow, check this number. 283,000, almost 300,000, that's a lot. Lunatra region changes, we are getting of course some changes for Lunatra region, but let's check also one big change for V4 MMORPG, and that is one completely new in-game feature. We are getting Halidom Rush. Halidom Rush is something completely new. Schedule is Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday between 8 o'clock and 9 o'clock server time. Location is Ruinous Vulcano. Players cannot move Helidons that are originally from their own server. So how to play? <laughs> Let's check. This is actually really interesting. I have already checked before this in-game system. And I must say, this sounds pretty interesting. So on the map, you will have a mark with this blue thing, certain item. We can say it's a Halidon. And you can see it here, you are taking a role of a thief. So basically what you will need, you will need to steal this Halidom. And then you will need to bring that Halidom to a location which is marked with a flag on the map. It will look like this. A big beam of light shows the flag's location. The Halidom thief must drop the Halidom off at the flag to score. 
If the thief dies or otherwise leaves the area before reaching the flag, the holidom they were carrying returns to the hero sanctum. So basically to win, to score, to get reward, you need to bring that holidom here to this position. And uh, there, as you can see, this is user interface. However, you will see that holidom race is up. And let's also check uh, some rewards here. As you can see here on number three, we have Holidom Rush Victory Rewards. All characters on the winning server gain the Hero's Benediction buff. Okay, this is nice, right? So all the characters on the winning server will get that special buff. Let's check the buff. And buff, as you can see, have uh, depending on how many Holidoms you own, one uh, uh, from one up to five, have different kind of stats, but stats on level five. Let's check that. Let's check that. Loot plus twenty percent, experience plus twenty percent, accuracy plus five hundred, additional boss attacks plus five hundred. That's really amazing buff. And even on level one, I mean for one Halidom's own, let's say it like that. You get come on. It's also nice. All the characters on the server will receive. Loot plus 10%, experience plus 10%, accuracy plus 300, additional boss attack plus 300. And we all know how much important in V4 is this experience buff and loot buff. It's really important. So, new in game system, completely new in game system. We didn't have anything even similar before in V4 MMORPG. And I must say, this sounds actually pretty amazing. Of course, we need to see how will this work out. After the update, after today, how will this work in game? However, so far, this looks pretty interesting. Let's go further. And another big change, as you will see later, is regarding new skill changes for all classes. So we are getting changes for active skills and for passive skills, and changes are really huge. I will check with you here just the main changes regarding active skills and passive skills. And I will scroll down a little bit later. I will show you. There is so many changes that you need. You can check this for hours. These changes. So I will put the link in the description below video. So you can check these changes for yourself. But let's check now basic changes for all classes. So as you can see. All classes are here, Slayer, Enchantress, Dunslinger, Knight, Warlord, and Boomblade. And every class gets some kind of change. Slayer, safe way out, level 70, increases evade by 3000 for 20 seconds. Immediate control, a level 73, increase accuracy by 1000 for 20 seconds. Enchantress, Primal Arts, instantly restore 1000 HP to yourself or, or, or your allies, guild, or party. Serenity screen, create a level 73, 73, create a barrier equal to 30% of your HP near yourself or your allies, guild or party for 10 seconds. That's pretty nice. <clears throat> Further, we have Gunslinger, Predatory Gaze, decreases the target's weight by 2000 for 20 seconds. Nice. Fighting Spirit, level 73, increases your critical hit by 2000 for 20 seconds. Knight, this is the class which I play in V4 MMORPG. Guardian Roots, level 70. Create a barrier equal to 40% of your HP for 10 seconds. Wow, that sounds really good. Then we have increased stats, effect, resistance by 25% for 20 seconds. That's nice. Warlord, Thunderous Advance, level 70. Decreases the target's status, effect, resistance by 30% for 20 seconds. King of the World, level 73, decreases the target's death by 20% for 20 seconds. And Boomblade, Pain Relief, level 70, restore 20% of your HP over 5 seconds. And Vim and Weigor, level 73, increases status effect resistance by 20% for yourself or your allies, kill party for 20 seconds. So, so as you can see, these are just basic changes for all classes, for active skills. Then we have changes. Actually, these are new passive skills, not changes. These are new passive skills. And as you can see, there are a lot. Let's check it. Force Slayer, Desperate Stroke, Ignore PV Defense Damage on level 1 is 15, on max level 5 is 50. And Accuracy Increase is level 1, 100, on level 5 is 500. Enchantress, Profound Meditation, 
maximum MP increase is 10% on level 1, on level 5 is 20%. And we have MP recovery increase on level 1 is 5, on level 5 is 50. Gunslinger target locked critical damage increase 1%, uh, maximum is 5% on level 5. Knight opposing force, PV damage increase level 1 is 10 and level 5 is 50. That's nice. Accuracy increase for Knight is 100 on level 1 and maximum level 5 is 500. Warlord class Roar of Life, maximum HP increase 10% on level 1 and maximum HP increase on level 5 is 20%. Accuracy increase is 100 minimum and maximum 500. And on the end, the Boom Blade bottoms up, HP potion potency increase 4% on level 1, 10% on level 5, and accuracy increase 100 on level 1, and on level 5, 500. So as you can see, many changes. But as I will scroll now down, before I scroll down, let's read this. This is really important. Skill acquisition. Skill book purchases are restricted by character's level. Okay, that's kind of logical, right? Skill books can be purchased from the skill instructor in Hable or Vihail. So that's also clear how to get skill books. And now I will scroll down just a little bit throughout this patch note that you can see how many class skills and everything has been changed. This is actually a really important change, additional change. Uh, we have a new slot added on our user interface, and this is class skills class skills are added for each class so as you can see here i will just scroll down check this how many new skills for every class and what kind of changes are coming check this i will not read all to you of course now because it would take too much time because come on but i will put a link in the description below video so depending on which class you play you can check this information but check this out this is Check. This is really, really big changes are coming. And I hope these changes will be good for the game. Like I said, we still need to see how it will be everything. But so far, what it looks, many changes are coming. Another huge change. And I must say, I'm pretty happy about this change. It's looking really nice. We have new potential added to the game. So we had before now, actually now, we have Valor, Endurance and Insight, three potentials. Three kinds of potentials and we have a new potential added to the game and it's will unlock a requirement is level 70 okay that's kind of logical it's a new thing of course you need a higher level for that and apply stats are increased death against elite named and boss enemies so this will be also interesting we you have now new potential to build and you need to be level 70 to acquire that new potential let's go further to check some other changes I will just check here the main titles because check out those changes. Region boss domination buff changes. Then we have a new gear and slots added. I have checked that. We can say it's a new gear to some point because we have a new item set exclusive crystals and related content added. As you can see, new enhanced scrolls are added because, of course, when you get a new gear, you also need enhanced scrolls with that gear. With you need to enchant that gear up, right? So, guild content, improvements and updates. Check this also. I can't believe it. How many changes are coming. Seriously, they have changed this game a lot. And uh, I think this is really a positive thing. It's lots of new content and old content, which they had from before. They have improved. They have changed for the better. Of course, we need to change see how will this look in game. But... So far, from what I have read during this time with you here in this video from patch notes, and I have studied these patch notes, of course, a little bit before, this is really good. This is really amazing. So, guild content improvements and updates. Let's scroll down. Check this. Check how many changes are coming. Item sets added with the fixes. Level plus 80 character set item rewards are added. Okay, so this is also kind of logical thing. If you reach level 80, of course, you will receive certain kind of reward. In game right now, you have certain kind of rewards uh, when you level up your character. On uh, when you level up at zero percent, we can say when you start a new level on twenty-five percent, 
50%, 75%, and then again when you reach a new level. So this is also a nice thing. Markings, guilds, and NPC shop changes. You see this? Really lots of changes. Also, one really interesting change, and I must say I like this a lot, this is really good, is a check-in rewards changes. So they have put a different kind of check-in rewards depending are you a normal player. This you will get if you are a normal player. It's hard to define normal player. That would be a player who is playing every day, let's say. I think I'm a normal player. I play every day and <laughs> before. Let's go further. Let's go, uh, we have here new player check-in rewards. So if you're a new player, this you will get when you check in every day. So you need to basically log in in the game every day and you automatically receive every day when you log in these check-in rewards. But these rewards, as you can see, are different for new player. This is for normal player and for new player. But that's not all. We also have new uh, check-in rewards for returning player. So there are three kinds, three kinds of different check-in login rewards. We have for normal player, for new player, and returning player. And this is also really good. So depending on which kind of status we can say you have, which kind of player you have, uh, you are getting different check-in rewards. And we are just now on the half of this patch. Seriously, we are just on the half. You see how many changes are happening? We are just on the half of the patch. So we have new pets and rerolls added. Okay, regarding the reroll on the chat uh, on the pets, you can now. This is the probably most important sentence. Let's not read all. Let's focus on the most important things. You can now reroll epic or higher mounts, companions or pets within the same grade. Okay, so this is good. You can now reroll again within the same grade. Gear crafting recipes are added. If you like crafting, here we go. For you, you see this really amazing. Legendary Soulstone upgrade failure feats uh, uh, added. Okay. Then we have a region boss changes with changes uh, within regions. Of course, that changes are coming for region bosses. That's kind of a logical thing. Then we have Witten Highlands balance adjusted. Again, class changes, which are. You can read this for hours regarding uh, the class skill changes and everything. I have show you already before a little bit up a few minutes ago and additionally to that we have also this for every class so they have really adjust we can say lots of classes every class and uh, how will this work out regarding in the game we still need to feel this under our fingers how will the classes feel I play night but um, we will see how will this feel in game but many skill changes as you can see Let's go down a little bit. We are still on skill changes. I'm still scrolling down and we are still on skill changes. Unbelievable. How many changes? This is really a huge new update for V4. Then we have crafting master quest changes. Experience earned in merchants wish 1 and 2 increased. Okay, this is nice because experience we really need in V4. It's not easy to level up in V4 but it is kind of rewarding so it feels really good when you reach some level up when you level up your character it feels really good experience is not coming so easy but when you get get it when you get some level it feels really good so this change regarding experience earned in merchant wish one and two increased really nice okay let's see okay roulette <laughs> okay roulette is a really nice feature of the game and uh, we have a new vessel gear has been added as the price and changes are coming over there also okay i need to check that for sure enchantment rate changes normal rare gear enchantment rate increase normal fine artifact enchantment rate increase this is also a good change okay let's now see game system improvements skill set save and load functions class skill exclusive slots added so on your user interface we will get a new slot this is probably the most important thing regarding this update okay it's here on this picture you can see it the slot automatically opens when you acquire a new skill so also nice change and a good change pvp changes 
region map changes this is regarding the user interface item set changes check how huge is this object this is unbelievable target setting changes if you have time if you play every 4 mmorpg check these patch notes i will put link in the description below video or i will also put link to official v4 mmorpg website where can you actually register and start to play the game game is free to play and it's i must say it's pretty fun i'm playing this game since release and i must say it feels pretty good it feels pretty good uh, these changes regarding the skill books which you can see in front of you are kind of visual changes and then on the end we have other changes as you can see this is the end now this is the lower part now of this patch note how how huge is this patch note this is really nice i must say i'm really excited regarding this and i hope this will change the game for the better I know for sure that this is uh, changing a lot of things regarding this game. We have new regions added, new skill changes, and new skill for all the classes. That means that classes will feel the same. Also, we have completely new in-game system, uh, new, uh, new in-game system like uh, I have shown you that before, which you can play on certain days of the week. Let's go, let's go up to check that new in-game system. That, that sounded pretty nice. Let's go all the way up. Here it is. So we have Halidom Rush is added to the game. This is completely new in-game system. And how it sounds from what I read from here, it sounds really good. It looks good. So we still need to see how it will be in-game. But as you can see, huge update is coming to V4 MMORPG today. And uh, if you are an old player, if you play this game from before, I mean, it's hard to be old player of this game because this game was released like not so long time ago. But let's say old player, that means you play from release of the game, like me. And if you play this game from before, really, <laughs> you will be excited about this. And if you, are, uh, you haven't tried uh, until now this game, try it. Why not? It's a free-to-play game. You don't need to pay anything. You can download the game and play it completely for free. And who knows, maybe you will like it and maybe you will have fun. Thank you for watching this video and subscribe to my channel to see more videos in the future. See you soon.